back to my channel hope you all are well and I hope you all are doing great as I promised last time I said I was going to update you all on my Exante journey and let you guys know you know you know how I'm getting on on the Exante diet for today's video I'm going to give you a one week review of my Exante diet journey and how I'm getting on if this is the first time of checking out my channel hello and welcome I'm Azima and on this channel I share videos centered around motherhood lifestyle fashion reviews and a lot more so if that's the kind of content that you love watching I hope you guys will stick around yes please make sure you like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel I post videos regularly and I would love to have you as part of my viewers so for this week I'm just going to let you guys know a bit about Exante diet and how I got on it and my progress so far so this is my Exante one month box and as you can see from inside the box okay I pretty much used up a lot of the items in here so I've just got like um, three weeks worth of items in here so first things first how does it taste so this is my first week of trying out Exante and overall I like the taste of the shakes the shakes taste so good so I've tried pretty much all of the different flavors of the shakes and um, yeah I really like the shakes um, it has this sort of like thick consistency and um, although it is recommended to add 250 ml of water I normally add 300 ml or sometimes 350 ml just so that I can get more drink out of my bottle so yeah I like the taste of the shakes the, I also like the taste of the bars so I got four flavors of the bars um, I have the salted caramel bar which is my favorite I really really like the taste of the salted caramel bar I also have the peanut butter bar I have the chocolate fudge and the strawberry here I have the strawberry bar as well so my favorite bars are the salted caramel bar and the strawberry bar so these two are my favorite flavors from the bars i'm not much of a fan of peanut butter flavor of the exante diet bars so i'm not really keen on that um i tried the pancake the pancake i've only tried the pancake once and i shared a video about that um i really did not fancy the pancake taste i felt like it had an aftertaste which i really did not like um but uh, i still have another pack of pancakes that i need to try so i haven't tried the pancakes yet um so i've just been you know going off the shakes and the bars i also have the soup i haven't tried the soup at all because as I said in my previous videos I'm not quite the soup person um, when it comes to Exante diet soups I've never tried the soups before it might be nice but I've never tried it so I think I will update you guys on the soups in week two so yeah I tried the noodles the noodles really taste nice so the one I have is the sweet and sour noodles and I really liked it the first time I tried it it was it was nice it didn't taste bad at all it was nice and I really really compliment them for that because noodles is something that is like a, a hit or miss but I feel like this flavor the sweet and sour flavor you can't go wrong with this sort of flavor so yeah I like the noodles um, I also tried the porridge oats so I've only tried the porridge oats once and I really liked the porridge oats although it was pretty watery I felt like it was watery at first but it had that oaty taste and um, it also had this sort of you know milky consistency if you know what I mean it was whitish like like there was milk in it but um, it tastes really nice it's just that it was watery maybe I didn't mix it very well I'm not sure but I could only see like a few of the oats it wasn't thick like normal porridge oats thick but it was okay overall I like the taste of the items that I've tried so far and I would give it to Exante Diet because um, I've tried a few shakes from like a couple of other brands and 
one particular brand had this kind of powdery taste that wasn't just right like it, it wasn't dissolving in the water at all um, but the exanted shakes are so brilliant like once you mix them in water it kind of changes to like a milkshake it's so so nice and so delicious so tasty I really like it you wouldn't taste the powdery taste of your shakes at all which is a very good plus for exanted diet I also like to add my water enhancer to my water just to be like an alternative to juice or soda and yeah this is really good i like to put like a few drops of this in my water and it's again all these items are low calorie items so i tried to stick to the exanted diet for like a full day without eating anything and i did that on day one i pretty much tried my best to do that on day one to be very honest with you all um it's hard to stick to just shakes and bars like this for a whole you know a whole month or a whole week i have my exanted diet for breakfast every single day because i do not want to eat bread anymore i usually have bread for breakfast so i've swapped my bread for exante shakes or bars or anything in the exante box so i have exante diet for breakfast and i have exante diet for lunch or for dinner so if i fancy solid food for lunch then i'll eat the solid food but in very little portion so that i can stick to my recommended calorie intake and then for dinner i would have exante diet for dinner so i tried my best to at least replace two meals with my exante diet for the day and um yeah so i have solid food once a day and then two other times i would have exante diet if you know what i mean yeah i hope i'm not confusing you guys i hope i'm not confusing you guys but yeah if you know what i mean so i've been able to replace two meals for exante diet and um, I feel like it has really helped me. It has worked for me. So every single day I've been on the Exante diet. For every single day I've been on it. Um, sometimes I have it once a day. Sometimes I have it twice a day. It just depends on how the day is because every day is different. And I'm being entirely honest with you. So yeah, I've not been on the Exante diet for the whole day, for the whole week. I've not done that but I've tried my best to have an Exante diet meal at least once a day or twice a day and it has worked for me so I started off with 90 kg like 90 kg or 90 point something kg I can't I can't really remember what my you know starting weight was but during the week I measured myself again and I went down to 89.4 kg which was so fantastic for me because I was so excited that at least um, within a few days I was able to go down to 89.4 kg. So um, overall, I can see myself as someone who has lost a bit of weight. So my tummy area doesn't feel bloated anymore as I used to be bloated. I feel more energetic. I feel stronger. I can do more exercises without, without being tired and you know, or having constant fatigue and headaches and all of that um, I did not experience any headaches so yeah I feel really good about myself um, I just need to work on my sleep patterns because I usually sleep very late at night I normally work better when the kids are you know away or if they are asleep and once they sleep off at night that's pretty much my work time so lately i've been sleeping really late so i need to work on my sleep patterns so that's the only thing that i can say that i need to work on and that's like a personal decision for me to do that so i'm trying to work on my sleep much better but overall i'm really happy with the exante diet everything tastes nice i feel like it has been a good value for money 
so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed my exante diet one week review please let me know in the comments down below if you've tried exante diet before and what are your thoughts on it um did it work for you did you lose weight let me know down below in the comments so thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel also click the notification bell so you can receive instant notifications each time i share a new video so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye